Hello! Welcome to the first ever episode of Storytime on my channel. My name is Pugs Rule, and let's get right into the story here. Uh, just a quick note, the background gameplay footage you're watching is me playing Modern Warfare Remastered, and you're watching me play Domination on Ambush this first game, and the second game is Domination on Wetwork, I believe. And in the second game, you're going to see me get a lot of random grenade kills. So, let's get right into the story. Alright, so this first story on my channel is going to be about how I managed to start a fight amongst the group of friends that I still hang out with today a lot. So, I'm not the most popular person, right? So let's set the scene here. I started this year at a table of people that are weirder than me, which is kind of hard to do. Anyway, this table eventually got boring to me and I moved to a different table of more popular people. These people liked me because I was weird and I made them laugh, so therefore I was welcome there. A lot of people in my school know me for being really weird. So anyway, I moved to this table and eventually other kids from my old table started moving to that table as well because they obviously loved my sense of humor. I'm pretty sure that's not why. Anyway, so this table here was consisted of me, a kid named Colin, a kid named Bryce, a kid named Chris, a kid named Ed, and a kid named Brandon. Ed and Brandon I'm still friends with to this day. So one of the kids that came from my old table to my new table was named Noah. Noah was known to have a little bit of a temper. He once got into a fight with the kid that told him Pokemon was gay. I don't know how it escalated from that, but I remember that's how it started. So the day this started, I walked down from my classroom to the lunchroom, maybe fifth period or whatever the hell it was. So my friend Ed was laughing his ass off down there. And I thought he was laughing at me at first, so I, me being paranoid, me asking him, what are you laughing at? He's like, nothing. And I'm like, can you please tell me? I, are you laughing at me, man? He's like, no. no. I'm like, sure, man. So then he eventually told me, so you know Noah? Yeah. Apparently, he had unprotected sex with another girl at a school. I'm like, what the f- I'm Like, what? And that was like the talk of the entire school that day because our school is not interesting at all. So Noah, who was usually at our table, wasn't there. He was around at other tables talking about his experience and stuff like that. So, anyway. It was kind of awkward that day. People talked about it and it kind of eventually died down and I think he broke up with her over something really bad. I don't remember what though. So about maybe a week after he broke up with her, the, I mean the wounds were still new so you know he wasn't really happy with people making fun of you know the last relationship he was in and his ex-girlfriend. So there was this one time we were at the lunch table. This was about a week later after he broke up with the girl. We were at the lunch table, and usually when we would finish lunch, we would go upstairs and walk around the school a little bit, because we had nothing else to do. So when we walked up there, we usually talked about random stuff. One time, some kid threw me into a, a classroom. That's another story. But we started just saying the name of the girl that he was going out with. I'm going to make up a name. We were like, Claire. Claire. And he's like, shut the hell up, guys. And we all, I mean, even him, everyone was just laughing about it at first. So then maybe 10 minutes pass, and I'm an asshole. And me being the asshole that I am, I'm like, Claire. Claire. And he's like, Joey, shut the hell up. I'm like, okay, sorry. Sorry, man. Claire. I kept doing it over and over, and he got really pissed off at me. And he's like, Joey, do that one more time, and I swear I will beat the shit out of you. I'm like, okay, man. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to offend you in any way. I'm sorry. And I actually did stop. I did not want to get into a fight because I'm short, scrawny, and I could not do anything in a fight really. So we kept walking and walking and walking. And my friend Brandon, he's a big guy. Not, not fat. I mean, he's like muscular as hell. He and my friend Ed, they kept egging me on like, say it again, Johnny. Just, just one more time. I'm like, no, that's that's really not a good idea, guys. They're like, come on, Joey, just just one more time. I'm like, he's gonna beat the shit out of me. No. This is the kid that got into a fight over a 
someone calling Pokemon gay. And they're like, come on, Joey, just, just, just do it once. I'm like, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not going to get into a fight today. And they're like, look, just look here. If he comes after you or does anything, we'll protect you. And these guys being above average in strength, I'm like, I don't know, guys. It doesn't sound like a good idea. I mean, I don't want to be an asshole about it, even though I already was. And I come on, Joey, just just do it once. Just one, just do it once more, one more time. It was funny. I'm like, well, I mean, I want to be funny, and that's the only thing I got going for me. So, I'm like, okay, I'll I'll do it one more time or or a couple more times. And I'm like, yeah, good job, man. So I'm, so I go up to him while we're walking, and I'm like. Hey Noah, uh, just asking, do you, do you like, like, pastries? And he's like, what the hell does that have to do with anything? I'm like, do you like eclairs? And he got really pissed off at me. And he's like, Kiefer, I'm going to beat the living shit out of you. I swear to Christ, if you do it one more time, I'm going to kill you. I'm like, oh shit. He's serious now. So, we kept walking, and we eventually got in front of my I used to be in plays at my school I, it was my drama teacher we got in front of his door and my friends didn't egg me on here this is me being just being me I just kind of looked at him and I'm like Claire and he just dropped his book bag I'm like oh shit this is a bad idea and the only thing he had left on him was we had these little computers we would carry around we call, oh, they were just like netbooks or whatever. And that's the only thing he had left. He's like, you're done. You're fucking done. I'm like, oh, no. I'm like, oh, I did it this time. And so he came up. He got in my face. He's like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I'm like, oh, God. I'm going to get my ass kicked. And then my friends, Ed and Brandon, like they said they would, they went right in between us. And they're like, don't touch him. If you touch him, you're touching us. And I'm like... Oh, okay, good. I, I got some friends in this. I'm not gonna die, or get hurt. They'll take the they'll take the beating for me, or beat the shit out of him. So I'm okay. And event. So this kid, Colin, who was at my table, he was just standing by, watching pretty much. And he he went like to the right of me to like l go in his locker or something. And so Noah, he kind of just backed up. He's like, whatever, you piece of fucking shit. And he like threw his computer at me. And I like kind of ducked a little bit or like it missed me somehow and it hit Colin like square in the head now at this point there was maybe 10 or 20 people in the hallway only like five of them were like in my group of friends and everyone just started watching Noah as he walked away and before anyone could notice Colin was fucking beelining it towards him sprinting and this is a guy he's like in his fucking dumbass little flannel shirt he looked like a cowboy because he had like weird ass boots and he would like always wear a flannel shirt and we made fun of him for it but he was he almost never talked but he ran straight for him I don't know if it was because he got hit or he was trying to protect me or whatever the hell else it was I'm pretty sure it was because he got hit in the head but I see him tackle the living shit out of Noah like he like smacked his head against the ground and he started punching the living shit out of him and I'm like and everyone's just looking at him like, what the fuck? Because no one knew what happened. Everyone just saw him throw the netbook, and people, I'm assuming, just thought it hit me. And they started fighting and, like, beating the shit out of each other. Colin, like, put him in, like, a chokehold, and no one would, like, punch the shit out of him while he was in the chokehold. It was really bad. But anyway, then my drama teacher, English teacher, whatever, he came out of the room and broke it up and, like, threw, like, threw Colin off Noah. And he, like, like dragged him down to the office. And I'm like... So I'm laughing my ass off a little, like, here. Everyone was, and I'm like... And everyone, while everyone's laughing, I'm, like, thinking in my head. I'm like, oh, shit, I started that. I'm gonna get called down to the office now. I'm like, oh, shit. So, eventually, the other teacher that was right across the hall from my drama teacher, she came out and just took his computer. She saw it, too, I guess. She gave the computer to me. She's like, when he comes back into class next period with us... Just give this to him. I'm like, that's that's not a good idea. He'll, he'll, like, try to throw it at me again or something. And so 
we had the next class period together. Me, that teacher, a couple of the friends, and Noah. I'm like, oh shit, this is not good. This is not good at all. So I'm just waiting for him to come back up into the classroom. So time goes on and on and on. In that, peri in that class period, normally it's like 15 minutes, and it felt like two hours. We were watching a movie or something. We were watching like Nomeo and Juliet or something stupid like that. And I'm thinking, maybe maybe he just went home. Maybe he just left without his netbook or something. I'm like, maybe I'm okay. Maybe he'll cool down like over the weekend or something like that. About 20 seconds after I thought that he comes storming into the room, I'm like, fuck. And he grabs his computer from me. I'm like, I'm sorry, man. That, I, I'm sorry. And he just yanks from me. He's like, whatever. And he just walks out of the room. I'm like, I started that. I'm going to get called on the office, too. To talk, to like give my testimony or what, something about it. So a couple periods go by, and I'm not getting called out of the office. It was nearing the end of the day. It was like probably seventh or eighth period, which is the last ones of the day. And I'm like, awesome! I just caused something hilarious, and I'm not getting in trouble for it. Awesome! I'm only thinking about myself. And eventually, I'm thinking, I was so funny, and I just caused something hilarious that people are gonna talk about. This is awesome. I'm only thinking about myself, and I'm not... <laughs> I don't feel guilty at all about what I did. I was an asshole. I still am an asshole. But I'm thinking nothing's going to happen. Everything's going to be smooth sailing. I'm going to be good. So I go on with my day, and it gets to the last period of the day, I think. And my friend Bryce is also in that period, and he witnessed the whole thing. He was near me. And... He's there, and he's like, I got called down to the office. You get called down? I'm like, you got you got called down? I, I didn't. So I'm going to be called down? He's like, sorry, man, probably. I'm like, oh, shit, shit, shit. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is bad. This is really bad. And <laughs> I'm just fucking terrified. I am, I get anxiety really bad, and when I start to think about stuff, I start to shake. I'm pretty sure I caused a fucking earthquake because I was shaking so much. And all of a sudden, near the end of the day, I just hear, Joseph Kiefer, please come down to the office. We need to talk to you. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and I'm just thinking in my head just over and over, fuck, 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 fuck. And I stall a little bit. And my teacher's like, uh, Joe, you, you, you going to go down there? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and you know how like you there's always that walk of shame down to the vice principal's office and it felt like everyone was staring at me when I walked out and like like when I started to walk down there I thought everybody was just staring at me and it felt so bad I, once again I was shaking and it it took me about 5 minutes to get down there when it should have taken about 30 seconds I tried to stall as long as possible to like the end of the day so I could like leave before I had to talk. I like went to the bathroom, I like like tied my shoe a couple times, I tripped on purpose, and I'm like maybe maybe I'll be okay here. Maybe maybe I can stall long enough and it'll go to the weekend and no one will remember a thing. And I'll go into school Monday and everything will be good. Yeah, I, a little did I know, I couldn't stall for a full 45 minutes, pretty much. So, I'm in, I eventually get there, I'm like, okay, it's gotta be like 2.45 now, so I'm gonna be getting off in like 5, or 7 minutes or something like that. So when I get to the office, I'm like, uh, how long is this gonna take, I just wanna know. And it's like, oh, it shouldn't take more than like 20 or 30 minutes, I'm like, well my mom's picking me up here soon, in like 5 minutes or so. And she's like, your mom's picking you up at like 205 and like what? I was I was walking down here for like 30 minutes and I'm just like thinking that in my head like how is this possible? And I look at the clock and sure enough it's like 205 or like 2 o'clock. I'm like what? So when I get down there my fr so when I got down there Colin was just sitting there. Um he's like, "Hi." I'm like, "Hey." And he's like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "I don't want to get, I don't want to get suspended, Con." I'm like crying almost. He's like, "I didn't get suspended, so you're not gonna get suspended." I'm like, 
I'm like, okay, I, I don't want to get a, a Wednesday school, which is like a long detention on Wednesdays. He's like, you'll be fine. He's like, just talk to him. It's not going to be too bad. So I walk in there, and this is like the first time I ever went to the vice principal's office, minus like one time when my friend Tyler started to throw pretzels at everybody. And I went in there, and he's like, so, he's like, what happened? I'm like, I'm like I, I confess, I did it all. I, I didn't say that, but I was like, I started it. He's like, what? He's like, I, I was like, I, <laughs> I started it. And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, the, f the fight. It, it, it was my fault. It was all my fault. That's, that's the reason they started fighting. He's like, what are you talking about? Colin punched him and, and Noah fought back. I'm like, yeah, that, that's what happened. W what do you think I was talking about? And I'm just bullshitting my way through this point, thinking I can get away with it. He's like, yeah, whatever. He's like, alright, Joseph, so I want you to write down on this piece of paper so you don't have to actually speak it and tell us what happened. I'm like, I can't just tell you? He's like, no, this is this is so, you know, confidentiality and all that. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, okay. So I write down the stuff what happened. And as soon as I'm done, he's like, what did you say about starting the fight? I'm like, fuck. Because he caught it. He caught me saying it. And I'm like, so I like gulp and I'm like, so, so Noah like, um, had coitus with this girl and I'm, that's the actual word I used to, I'm like, he's like, what? I'm like he had coitus with this girl and you see, uh, they, they, they recently broke up and I, I kept saying her name and he, tr he tried to throw his computer at me and it hit Colin instead and Colin got angry and and charged him and beat the piss out of him. And he's like, look, I don't care if you started it or whatever. Just please just don't do it again. You, you, I never see you down here, so you don't have to worry about anything. I'll leave you with like a warning or something like that. I'm like, I'm like, holy shit. I just got away with it. And I walk out of the office all cheery and everything, and and I just hear the prin vice principal calling, and he's like, Colin, get in here. I'm like, what? And he walks in there, and he just glares at me. I'm like, I, I didn't say anything. So he, Colin walks in there, and we all go home, and we, like, talk over, like, messaging and stuff, like, over the phone and stuff. So everyone's talking about it and laughing about it. We eventually get an Xbox, and we start laughing and talking about it. And my friend Ed's like, that was fucking hilarious, man. And I sir, and I just like nervously laughed about it because I still thought my parents were gonna get called or something like that. And Colin eventually gets in the Xbox. I'm like, as soon as I see like his little notification pop up at the top right, like Colin's online. I'm like, oh shit. So he gets in here. I'm like, I'm sorry, Colin. Seriously. He's like, what? I mean. I know for a fact that the vice pres principal said something about it to him, about how I started it and stuff like that. Because I don't think Colin knew that I started it. And he's like, what? And I'm like, did, 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 did the vice princ princ principal say anything? I'm like stuttering and like shaking again, and he's like, no. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> are, are, are you sure? He's like, yeah, he said how... You were making jokes about him, and then he threw his computer at me, and now I got a Wednesday school. I'm like, I'm so sorry, Colin. I like almost like was in tears at this point. I'm like, I didn't mean to do it. He's like, What are you talking about? I'm like, I'm so sorry, Colin. I started the fight, and you got hit hurt because of it. I'm like, I didn't. He's like, I didn't get hurt. He was acting like the tough guy, and well, he was pretty much. And I'm thinking, so you're not mad at me? He's like, No. So everything went fine, and eventually Monday came. And apparently Noah was the one that got, like, suspended. And he wasn't there Monday or Tuesday. And eventually he came back Wednesday. And he sat down right at the table, like, right next to me. I'm like, how's the weather? I'm like, just trying to steer off the topic whenever, like, we start talking about stuff. And it eventually comes up, because I think my friend Brandon mentions it. I'm like, you fucking idiot. 
And it, he's like, what was that all about, man? And I'm like, and I then Noah's like, no, I, I kind of lost my cool and stuff. I'm like, Did, are you mad at me? He's like, nah, man. I'm like, oh, shit. Thank God. So at this point, it's pretty much over and done with. So I'm thinking, I got away with it. I'm fucking hilarious. That was until he told me why he got pissed. So, apparently what happened, he just told us, like, his girlfriend, like, broke up with him, or he broke up with his girlfriend or something like that. So that's why he started making fun of it. And I thought that was the reason. Well, apparently, his, her, her dad apparently found out about it, like, about him, them having sex or stuff like that. And apparently he threatened to call the cops on him if they ever talked again. And he was really angry about that, and he kept getting really pissed off whenever I would say it because, you know, he was just the one, I think that was his first girlfriend too, that like ripped away from him because of her dad, and I started making fun of him because of it. Well, we all were, pretty much, but I took it a little bit too far. I have a tendency to do that. Like one... <laughs> One time my fr my friend's dog died and we laughed our asses off about it. We're horrible people for that. But we all, I felt so bad about it after that. And I felt like the victim after that. And I eventually got pissed off at him because of it and shit. You know, we stopped talking pretty much. But today we're, we still know each other. <laughs> he still hates me pretty much. But he he, he just doesn't really show it. I mean, he was in a play with me one time with, you know, that drama teacher, and we would make jokes and stuff back and forth, stuff like that, and eventually we would, like, he'd, like, make jokes about me, and, like, we would, like, tease each other and stuff like that. He's like, it's funny, because Joey doesn't know I can't fucking stand him. And I'm thinking, good one. Good one. And he, I'm pretty sure he means it. I don't think he really likes me <laughs> anymore after that. And it's just really bad. But... Anyway, that's the end of that story, pretty much, and leave a like, a comment, and let me know if you want me to keep doing these, you know, those, like, four people that are going to watch this. I'm over 712 subscribers now, or something like that? Let me check. I'm at 714 subscribers, which is a... F Holy shit, that's a lot, to me, at least. I mean, 700 people, that's, like, that's enough to, like, fill out my auditorium, uh, like, my school. Plus some. That's, like like, three of the classes, as in, like, three, like, the high school, and, like, the high school classes, that's, like, freshmen, juniors, and seniors, pretty much, right there, because the juniors class is, like, the baby boomers, for some reason, because they have, like, 40,000 people in there, but it's, like, it's amazing to me, thanks, everyone, so much for actually sticking with me, and if you wa like this video, please let me know, like, comment, share, uh, tattoo the video URL to your forehead, be a human billboard, I'll pay your ass for it. I'm not even joking, if someone actually gets a tattoo of that, I will pay them, like, my life savings. But, let me know if you want to do more story time, because I have plenty of these stories from high school and just shit that's gone down. I, like I said, I have the story about the time my, one of my friends threw me into a classroom, I'm like, I tripped, and I fell in here. Or something like that. I have a ton of stories, let me know if you want to hear more of them. And, thanks so much, and I will talk to you guys later, I'm going to leave you off with the rest of this gameplay. And you're going to see how fucking awful I am at this game. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.